Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Eagled. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. Now, taking a look at the daily chart, you can see Eagled is showing some signs of strength, although the chart doesn't look ideal. So if we zoom in, you can see there is a pretty big wick over here. And this wick shows that there is massive buying volume coming in below $25.50. So essentially this entire area below the golden support block that I gave you, that is set up between $26.64 and $26. So this was our resistance back in 2023. We broke above it in October last year. And right now we're coming back down to retest it as support. And the wick that we have here is essentially the the same low that we had back in September 2023 and then in October 2023. So the candles are being closed within the golden support block, but this wick went all the way down to $21.80. If you had your buy limit orders set up there, that's great. If you had your buy limit orders set up in the golden block, for example, you would have been up approximately 10%. Even right now, if you bought in earlier, let's say at 22 and a half, you're up 25%. That's not bad at all. We are coming back down to retest this previous low essentially. But in the grand scheme of things, once we take a look at the weekly chart, the monthly chart, we are still printing a higher low in this scenario. So all we need to do is keep closing the weekly and monthly candles above these lows from September slash October, and we are good for continuation. We did briefly break above the August 2022 high over here. This was back in, that's a terrible arrow. That is the worst arrow I've ever drawn in my life. But this December 2023 peak and then this March 2024 peak briefly broke above, that was a fake out above the August 2022 high. Everyone started believing the fact that this could be an extended uptrend. We might continue on here in March 2024. But of course, we reversed and we crashed down. And if we take our ruler and we measure the move from March, we went down approximately 72%. These are very good buying opportunities. If you're looking to get eagled right now is the time to be doing that. Of course, not financial advice, but you do not want to be buying when the prices are sitting at their local tops like they were back in December last year and in March this year. You want to be buying when there's blood in the streets and right now that's exactly the case. And Eagle is performing slightly better than some of the other old coins that are actually losing their September slash October lows. As long as Eagle can maintain this higher low, we are good for continuation. If things change, then, uh, you know, that's, we, we don't want to hope for a bearish outcome. But again, on this channel, we try to give you both scenarios. We try to take a look at the bullish scenario and the bearish scenario. So in a bearish scenario, we would be looking at a top here. So from December 2023 down to the bottom in September 2023, we retested that low perfectly, but the candles are being closed above the low from September slash October 2023. The 786 was our last support on the FIB that we lost and it lined up nicely with this June 2023 support. We actually hovered around that area in June this year. So two years or a year later, from when we created that support, we came back down to retest it, had a nice bounce from there, but ended up getting rejected from this purple resistance block. And then we broke below uh, this, this level essentially at $28.5. So right now our hope is this support block. If not, we're going to continue down. And if we end up losing this October low on the weekly, if we start closing candles below it, and then we start hitting our head on that a previous low as resistance. So $22.50 would become our resistance. In that case, we're going to be targeting $16 here. I'm going to show you the 
price there. So $16, and that is the 1.272 on this retracement, and it's based on this FIB. If you want to take a look at the settings that I have for my FIB, feel free to pause the video and take a look at the way I use the FIB. If you don't know how to use the FIB, feel free to go to the technical analysis section on my main page on this YouTube channel, and there is a tutorial on how to use the Fibonacci retracement. Feel free to watch that if you're not aware of how this works. But in short, this is a tool that allows us to see what are the potential support and resistance levels in case of a downtrend and in case of an uptrend. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon. If you're interested in getting more exclusive content, you want to support me as a creator, and you like what you're seeing here on YouTube and you want more, feel free to check out the Patreon. That's definitely a place for you. There's a seven day free trial, which means you can get access to all of my content since the inception of the page. So that means you get podcasts, low cap gems, uh, technical analysis, project reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We try to do posts there on a daily basis. We cover airdrops and a lot of stuff that we don't really cover on YouTube because we don't have as much time. And of course, because patrons get more stuff and more content. And uh, if you're interested in that, the link is down below in the description. Thank you all. Let's continue on with the video. So we're now on a larger time frame, and this time frame is more important, of course. So what we can see is that we had a massive yellow resistance trend line that we have been bouncing off of since 2022. We finally broke above it in October, printed a local top, and from there we started retracing. Right now, as you can see, we are back testing that exact same yellow trend line as support. And this is a very, very good sign. We're potentially printing a double bottom pattern here with a nice target to the upside. If we actually see this pattern playing out, we could be looking at roughly $46 here, which is above the 55 EMA on the weekly. Of course, it goes without saying we have to get back above the EMAs. But for now, this could be simply our wave two. So the wave two bottom is what we're looking here. Uh, looking at here and then obviously wave three is the biggest wave of the entire structure wave four corrective and then wave five wherever that takes us to whether it's you know slightly above the all-time high whether it's back to the all-time high and you know that's it for this bull market but as long as we can maintain this low that's going to be above this low we should be good for continuation anything can happen of course i'm not here telling you that we're going to see this play out exactly the way I just visualized it, but this is a good representation of what I'm expecting if we were to continue this bull market. So hopefully we can hold the yellow support trend line. If we take a look at the stochastic on the weekly, you can see we are still recovering from that overbought in July and we're on our way down. Keep in mind, this is a short to mid term indicator, so we don't use this for long term trading. If you're looking for a trade in the short to midterm, I would say you have a good chance of catching a maybe a small relief rally. So the stochastic here is showing that we are actually losing our uh, momentum and we're coming back down and we're essentially on our way to the oversold like we were back here. Sometimes what happens is we reverse midway through. So we could potentially have a reversal midway through here where we have a bullish cross and then we continue to the overbought. We had something a similar play out over here. This was back in September 2022. We reversed midway through and got overbought once again. Now, I'm not saying it's going to play out like that just because it happened once. I'm just giving you an example of how the stochastic could play out. But usually we would use this for short to mid term trading. And then we'll switch over to the monthly real quick to take a look at these indicators as well. On the weekly, though, on the RSI, you can see we almost got down to this support block between 31.3 down to 30 on the RSI and every single time we get down to this level we have a move to the upside whether it's a you know a pretty significant move like that or it's a smaller move like the one that we saw here in 2022 there is still a bounce and we got a bounce here once again 
and right now we're coming back down to that level. If you find yourself hovering in that support block, make sure to dollar cost average. Of course, not a financial advice, but historically speaking, this is a very good level to pick up some coins. And uh, if we switch over to the monthly, just because I want to take a look at the price action. Okay, so on the monthly, we dropped below the 20 EMA and the 10 EMA. Once these two cross, that is going to be a pretty, pretty significant um, indicator for us. Once the 10 EMA crosses the 20 EMA on the weekly, that is going to be, or oh, sorry, on the monthly, that is going to be a really good indicator. And if we take a look at, there we go. So now the stochastic on the monthly, because this is such a large time frame, so it takes a lot longer for these signals to print on our indicator. So on the stochastic on the monthly, we are essentially where we were back in September 2023, as you can see. So this is a good buying opportunity based on the stochastic on the monthly. We're sitting at a support of that yellow trend line. We're potentially printing a nice double bottom pattern here and things are looking good for Eagled. The only really potential red flag, like I mentioned already, is the low here. If we lose that low, essentially we're gonna be looking at $16. So we don't wanna do that. And if that doesn't happen, then we're all gonna be happy. Of course, full disclosure, I own Multiverse Eagled tokens and I'm staking them on my Ledger Live app. But let me know what are your expectations from this project. Let me know what's your average buy-in price. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and take care.